spent the night last night here at the Magome Pass so that I could wake up and record. This area is so beautiful. The entire, I mean, you can see the excitement. This morning when I woke up, the clouds were so low I could almost see over them from here. But it's time to get everything packed up and get up north and start this adventure. Also, the, the camper van is already <laughs> very much a mess. All right. This whole area is so incredibly beautiful that I am already so excited to share the content that we're gonna make during this trip. I just, oh. My heart is racing out of my chest with excitement on this one. I can't, I can't wait. Just arrived at the campsite. At first I didn't think I was gonna find a campsite and then I found an entirely private. <coughs> Got a cafe here. The van is right there. And then this is the campsite here. It's Kashkiri, which means it's fully reserved. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's so neat. I have a campsite. I have a little mini campsite all to myself. I spent a lot of time on the road today, by the way. It was, it was a lot of driving. I'm looking forward to sleep. Hello. I really, really like him. He has invited me to climb that tree tomorrow. And I think, I think I'm gonna have to take him up on it. But <laughs> I'm gonna climb a tree because I'm an adult. lights in the trees. He showed me how to turn them off. He said that if I just plug this in... Oh no way! What? It's amazing! How do I have all of this to my... Oh, wow. I feel spoiled. <sighs> First thing tomorrow morning, I'm doing a live stream of the Kanazawa area, just a bit of a walk. It might rain. I'm ready for that. I bought a really big umbrella. It's, it's like this big. It's definitely not that big. Also, that is not as close as it looks. I can see it in the screen and it, it, it's not as close as it looks. We're okay, for those of you worried. All right, the goal is to get up there. Let's, uh, let's see how high we get. When you get up here, the caterpillars have had themselves a feast on the leaves up here. And the view, the view's really nice. Lots of spiders up here though, I'll tell you that. takes like 30 liters of gasoline. I was almost on empty and 30 liters of gasoline. It is already super hot outside and I've come out to this temple called Nata Dera because look at, well look at this. I wanted to create a walkthrough. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then find myself a public bath, which is a sento or onsen, whatever's closest.
this place is every kind of beautiful. But now, now it's time to go bathe. And I think I might have found an onsen that's in a temple. An onsen in a temple. So we're gonna head there and check that out. never been to a temple that has an onsen before. <laughs> this is such a new experience. All right, so this is what the main area of the bath looks like right here and there's a bath outside as well. And once again, we've got them both all to ourselves. What a unique experience to be able to take a bath at a temple. <laughs> this, this is something else. Beautiful day too. <laughs> I just took a bath at a temple. I just still can't get over that. I'm sure there are definitely more of these in Japan. In fact, they're probably much more common than I think. It's just a new experience for me. Just for good measure, because I know people are gonna wanna come here, this place is called Saienji. But now is when the real adventure begins, because the next stop, the next leg of our journey is Probably in the top three of things I'm excited about. In our last adventure, we got to see a rainbow and a sea of clouds. Just, <laughs> it was really beautiful. This, with any luck, still weather dependent, should beat that. That's, okay, let's get going. At the moment, I'm spending about half of any given day on the road, I wouldn't say half, between three and six hours. Since we're doing an entire week of adventure this time, I'm trying not to turn this into a one hour long video, which is why it's just little, little snippets, little tidbits at each spot. But I'm gonna head into a castle town now. So the city I've just arrived at is called Ono, and it's a castle town. There's a beautiful castle up on a mountain called Echizen Ono Castle. But the best viewpoint of the castle requires you to hike for 20 to 30 minutes through bear-filled mountains. Since I started this project a couple days ago, every single day I have just had a pounding headache and I have no clue why. I'm staying hydrated, definitely getting, uh, I'm probably getting enough rest. I'm eating properly, no clue. All right, so my walk through the town is done and this here, this is what a Tokyo Lens dinner on the road looks like. <laughs> The dinner of champions, a giant cup noodle. What is this one? Some moyashi thing. I'm gonna eat this and get some sleep because we have got to get up super early. Uh, good morning. It is 4:30 a.m. right now, and I'm about to hike up this trail <laughs> right, right here. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second because there are bears in this mountain. In fact, this whole area of Gui is well known for bears. And I'm going to be playing podcasts pretty much the entire way up to create noise. We're, oh, 
<laughs> Look at that view already. You need to be super careful because this is an electric fence and it is active. There we go. Now this electric fence is one of the things that I was the most worried about. I had actually called the city yesterday to ask them about the bears and they said yes there are lots of bears in the area. They even sent me a website where I can check the map of recent sightings and there have been a cluster of sightings in the area between April and now. But they said as long as I keep making noise and as long as I have a way to contact them I should be fine. The bear attacks themselves are very, very uncommon in the area. Now the downside to this entire thing being that it's very weather dependent and it's really cloudy today. This is a long hike. This here is what it should look like. And unfortunately, despite having a whole sea of clouds thing going on behind the mountains over here, there's nothing here just yet. But either way, that was a heck of a hike. I'm gonna rest up a little. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky in like 30 minutes or so and we'll get a little, I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But either way, that's really nice. Well, I guess you win some and you lose some. Yesterday when I called the city officials, they said that because of the rainy season and the way the cloud cover's been, that I've got a pretty good chance. But I think it needed to be just a little bit cooler out for the cloud cover to be lower. It was a nice hike though. I, I thoroughly enjoyed not getting eaten by a bear. And now we get to drive through these beautiful rice fields. So I've somehow arrived safely in Shirakawago and I'm currently stopped at one of the Michi no Eki or roadside stations. The road on the way here, I opted for no highways to enjoy the mountain road and it was, it was too hard on this little car on the way down. I would say the whole last 40 minutes were just engine brake and brakes very slowly making my way down that mountain. <laughs> That was something else, but it's time to clear everything out, get set up, and get some sleep. Always feels so much more spacious when you get the pop-up top up. This van just feels a lot more livable than I thought it would. I thought it might actually be a bit challenging to live here for a week, but so far, so good. Okay, all right. Good night. I will see you in the morning. It is 4.45 in the morning, <laughs> as it often is. And that there is the village of Shirakawago at 4.45 <laughs> in the morning. The first thing you do when putting the drone up is make sure that this is actually an okay area to fly the drone. So let's find out. See that lack of red? That lack of red means we're good to go. This almost makes up for not being able to see the sea of clouds at the castle. That doesn't really make up for it, but almost.
last time that I came out to Shirakawa was over a decade ago. It has been 10 years since I've had the chance to come out and explore this spot. But it's time for me to eat the chicken and egg that I have in the cooler bag and get on the road for the day. See where the adventure takes us next. This is an unkept road if I've ever seen one. I'm trying to get out to another secret-esque shrine hidden in the mountains and the road I'm on isn't even on Google Maps. So, <laughs> I it splits into two. The more difficult of the two is the one off to the right. So, I think we're gonna go that way. Am I having regrets? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a little bit. We're just gonna take it nice and slow. And... <laughs> oh, this, this right here, this is an adventure. Sometimes safety is a little bit more important than... I'm still not gonna give up. I just don't feel that this is the route. So, we're gonna head back down and try not to die. All of this, honestly, just because I want to find this shrine that is in an area filled with waterfalls and they say it can be a challenge to find it. And if you tell me something's going to be a challenge to find, I'm going to try and find it. All right, I think, I think I found it. Let me, so I <laughs> was searching for a bridge and I'm pretty sure that this is the bridge. Oh, that, that was soft. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Okay, yep. I'm pretty sure that this is it. The Japanese blog that I was looking at says that even amongst Japanese people, this particular shrine is seen as kind of a hidden spot. All right, I'm gonna grab the last of my gear, go explore this, and then, you guessed it, after that, we're off to our next location. <laughs> it's just go, go, go. These roads right here are beautiful. The way the fog and the light cutting through it. <laughs> oh. So I'm up on the mountain pass right now, but I saw this absolutely beautiful spot with that castle in the sky. Oh my God. I didn't see the castle. Oh, look at this. Look at that there. Oh, wow. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Castle in the sky. <laughs> no. Literally just as I get everything set up, the castle disappears completely into the fog. I've got the camera set up. I have an extra one right here and it just... <laughs> All right, so the clouds took it over and the rain has hit. The camera is getting soaking wet. Wow, I did not expect to see that driving down the road. Okay. Now, now we're really off the ghetto. So the castle was Gujo Hachimang Castle. And I, I just feel like I was just meant to see a castle in the sky on this trip. That was wonderful. And I've now arrived here in Ghetto Onsen area 
if you take a look, you got the whole city out here, but I am <laughs> incredibly hot and sweaty from today's hike. So I'm going to jump in one of the nearby onsen. There are cameras in the changing room of this onsen. I'm sure it's probably to keep our stuff safe, but it's just so ugh. <laughs> I love uh, this thing has a microwave. Ooh. What have I even got here? Buta kimchi don. This is a uh, pork and kimchi rice bowl. And now I eat, edit, and sleep. So see you guys tomorrow. Still can't get over. <laughs> what a weird position this gasoline tank is in. Also, this car, as lovely as it is, again, it only gets about 300 kilometers to a tank of gas, so. Okay, what is this? Are we gonna win something? I wanna win something. <gasps> what are we? we got three cherries. That's the lowest level, but we got a one cent per liter discount. So I was driving around, I found a tunnel. Wow. Seems like a railroad used to run through here and just doesn't anymore. In fact, it looks like you can walk a what? One, two, three, four, five. There's at least a five, six kilometer walk that you can do here through these tunnels. Up this way, there are apparently two statues that are worth climbing a hill for, as well as this hut and these graves. And there's more up there, but truth be told, whew, it was quite the hike up here. How safe is this? Feels okay. All right. It's a viewpoint of next to nothing. If you've ever just wanted to feel like you've climbed a tree without actually climbing a tree, this is your place. <laughs> There's a little bit of a view out there, but I just, all right, back down we go. And down this way, there is yet another tunnel. Do I? Yes, I do. Yes. I do. Whoa. Steep hill. Oh, well, certainly not wearing the right shoes for this. Oh, this one here just leads me into somebody's backyard. So I guess that there is the tunnel for this one. It looks like if you really wanted to, you could get down there. I just don't think I want it bad enough. That just doesn't... No, that just doesn't feel safe. I don't think that could support my body weight. And quite frankly, I'm not willing to try. One of the most challenging things about this is that there's, there's no sense of time in any of this. Like I spent four and a half hours on the road and I just spent another half hour here making this like what, one, two, three minute segment? Just, oh. Don't judge my garbage. I spent two hours on top of this mountain waiting for the clouds and I never, and I never got them. And now I have to walk through a bear infested forest to get, it feels like punishment. <laughs> uh, we'll try again next time. Super steep, oh, super steep. And for some reason I felt the need to run the whole thing. 
There will be other adventures and perfect fit. There's like there's like half a centimeter there. And basically everything that we've recorded over the past week is going to be in a playlist down below. I have a lot of cleaning to do in this van like this. This is an absolute disaster. Look at this. This is just there's just stuff everywhere. But that's part of the fun now, isn't it? We'll see you guys again real soon. Coffee break.